Well, I'm our thanks to Mars. Uh, last month, a strange object came through our solar system, and you can see the name for it there. I am not going to try to pronounce that. I'm just going to call it the O. The O was being investigated by the Russians uh, for science of ET technology. It's a Russian investor. You know, where is NASA on this? NASA is nowhere to be found. That's just rock. That's our usual uh, answer to this. Russian billionaire Yuri Milner is scanning the object for radio signals. The Russians are actually doing something. Whereas NASA just dismisses everything out of hand. What's the issue here is the shape of this thing. This is an artist's conception, it's not an actual picture. But it's uh, cigar shaped and they think that that could be an indication that it's a spacecraft for the reason that it will encounter fewer problems with micro uh, particles, dust particles, and such. Because you know, just a dust particle hitting you, God knows how fast, 100 miles per second or something, you're screwed. So. What they're thinking is, maybe this was inte intelligently created in order to, uh, like this, in order to fly through the universe. That's what the Russians are thinking. And they got a team of scientists. Astronomers have set, scan alien comet for science of ET technology. scar shaped asteroid named all by its discoverers sailed past Earth last month as the first interstellar object seen in the solar system. A team of alien hunting scientists led by Russian billionaire Yuri Milner will scan the comet this week before it sails beyond the reach of Earth's telescopes. They're saying saying that they are looking for radio signals, claiming the mysterious visitor could be an alien spacecraft. Yeah, it could be, I don't know. The Alien Hunting Project will use a Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia for its investigation with the campaign set to begin at 3 p.m. on Wednesday. Telescope sensitive equipment take less than a minute to pick up something as famous radio waves from a smartphone, according to The Atlantic. Milner, the business mogul behind Breakthrough Listen, $100 million search for ET life, received an email about the object last week from one of his chief scientists. The more I study the object, the more unusual it appears, making me wonder whether it might be an artificially made probe which was sent by an alien civilization. Professor Avi Loeb, the chair of Harvard's astronomy department and one of Milner's advisors on Breakthrough Listen, wrote in the email. Professor Loeb said the Space Rock's pe peculiar elongated shape is odd for common space rock, but ideal for a ship flying between star systems for reasons I talked about, it um, will be hit by less stuff, basically. Breakthrough and Listen has now announced the program will scan the whole this week for science to be uh, radio segments. Well, you know, uh, I wish them luck. Uh, I'd love it if it was an ET object. I don't know. I'm not saying one way or the other. Let's uh, let scientists do their jobs, and it, I, I would absolutely love this if they did pick up a signal because then uh, I would get to watch NASA squirm. Uh, that would be so much fun watching these 
watching NASA squirm and freak out. Ah! Ah! It's E.T. The Russians are saying it's T. We gotta find a way to put them on. That would be so much fun to watch. We'll have to wait and see. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.